Hi guys, for today's craft, we are going to need some colored paper, a paper plate, some glue, you can use a glue stick or liquid glue, a marker or a crayon, and some scissors. All right, let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is you will take your paper plate and we're going to fold it in half, just like that. And then make sure you press down nice and hard to form a line. That way, our paper plate will be able to stand up all by itself. So after you fold it, it should look just like this. That way it can stand up. And when we're all done, we'll be able to rock our snail back and forth. All right, so once you fold it, your paper plate in half, you can put that to the side for a minute. Now, we need to pick out a color of paper. I chose yellow. So this will be the color of my snail's shell and his eyes. So after you pick out your favorite color, we are going to have to cut out some shapes. So we're gonna need a big circle. For my circle, I used a bowl to trace it to make it a little bit easier. We were also going to cut out two rectangles and two smaller circles. When you're all done cutting, you should have your big circle, two smaller circles, and two rectangles. Then you will get your marker. So we're going to make the snail's shell. So the way we're going to do this is we're gonna start right in the center of the circle. And we're gonna hold our marker or our crayon down and we're going to go around and around. All done. All right, now we need our paper plate again. We have to glue the snail's shell to his body. So I'm gonna use a glue stick for this. So I'll put some glue on the back of my shell. And I'm going to stick it on to my paper plate. I'm gonna put it to the side a little bit, not right in the middle. That way I have room for the snail space over here. Perfect. Now we need to make his eyes. So we're going to take one of the smaller circles, put a little bit of glue on the back, and we're going to put it on top of one of the rectangles. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other one. just like that. So these will be his eyes. So I'm gonna put some glue on the bottom of the rectangle and stick it back here. That way the snail's eyes can stick up a little bit. And we can't forget to give him some eyeballs. So I'm gonna get my marker again and just make two little circles And maybe we want to give him a little mouth. All right, so we're almost done. Now we get to do the really fun part. We're going to make a pattern in the snail's shell. So for this, you're going to want to pick two or three colors. I'm going to pick pink and purple for my snail. So I'm going to move him out of the way just for a minute. And I'm going to get my scissors again. So we want to make small squares. So the way we're going to do this is you'll take your paper and your scissors and we're going to cut long strips. Just like this. And then once you do that, you can take your long strips and we're gonna cut them into small squares. This is a great time for us to practice our scissor skills. 
Once you're all done cutting your paper squares, it's time to start gluing. So I think I'm going to start right in the middle of my snail's shell, right here. I'm going to start with purple. And I wanna make a pattern. I'm only gonna use two colors for this pattern, but if you want, you could use three or four colors. So I'll start with purple here. And then my second color will be pink. So I'm gonna move it right up here. And we're gonna go around in our line and make a pattern. So first I chose purple, then pink. What color should I choose next? You are right, purple comes next. So let's see, purple, pink, purple, pink. And I'm gonna keep going around and around until I finish right here. We are all done with our pattern. And guess what? We're all done with our snail. How fun was that? And now our snail can stand up all by himself. And if you press lightly, you can even rock him a little bit back and forth. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this craft. And until next time, bye-bye.